worried about Rosalind. Well, that girl knows trouble like apple knows pie. Uh, excuse me. Boy, you be careful now about where you're touching my daughter. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh... <laughs> we gotta be careful. This Rosalind situation, so she don't get hurt. So, I, uh, guess the two of you haven't been formally introduced. Dad, this is... Nick, I know. You told me all about it. Failed to mention the, uh... Disability. It's kind of a new thing, sir. I... <laughs> You seem like a fine person, but whatever dude Juliet ends up with is gonna be part of the family business. What are you gonna do? Throw magic stars at chupacabras with your tongue? Maybe, Dad. Nick's tongue is very limber. And how do you know that? She doesn't. She doesn't know that at all, sir. She has no idea if my tongue is limber. <laughs> What the hell kind of place is this? It's the Fulci Fun Center, Dad. Where all the kids from San Romero hang out after school. Look at this. I'll head into the building at the entrance, all right? Daddy, you go around and sneak in from the back. I'll act as a decoy, drawing all the zombies' attention towards me, while you go up to the roof where Rosalind should be. Uh, Juliet, you just made yourself a decoy. <laughs> Dad, what's wrong? My little girl is a tactical genius. Your mom and me got a little something for your special day. Happy birthday, baby. Thanks, Daddy. All right, I'm off. Good luck, sir. You're gonna do awesome, I'm sure of it. Stop sucking up, son. And don't think I forgot that tongue stuff, neither. You best watch what you do with my little girl when you're hiding in the shadows. Yes, sir. Okay, sir. I think he really liked you. Uh, uh. All right! to thank them in person. I want to play games 21-7! Hit the button faster! I need to level up. All right, we back here with some more lollipop chainsaw. Nick, can you shut the fuck up? Nick, I'm talking! Nick, do that sharp! Bitches! You see, I'm talking to myself. So we got a new costume, you know what I'm saying? We got a new costume. We got a little skin tight pink ass panther costume. Yeah! Look at all that ass, man. We got a titty showing. We got a little belly button showing. We got a little camera tool showing. Look at her. Yeah! We got a little pink leather suit on, baby. Yes! Let's go. Go ahead and kill some zombies. You looking, looking good, bro. God damn, she looking. Oh shit. I think you about to pimp slap my ass. But uh, he looking good, man. I said, oh my god, Lord have mercy. I said he. I meant she. She looking good. Lord have mercy. That that, 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 that didn't work out, man. I ain't meant to say he. I want to say she. But uh, you back in here, you know. We almost done with this game. We got like, we got like uh, um, I think we got two stages left. I think. What stage you on now? Stage four. We got two. We got two more stages left. Um. Why they? Oh, I see. Why they beating each other? But they're not beating each other. They beating up this poor little guy. Y'all niggas stop beating this dude up. The fuck y'all doing? Anastasia. Oh, that man got blown the fuck up. Yo, can you stop locking on to this man? I want the person in red, please. I'm trying. Look at this. This lock on is trash, bro. I swear to goodness. I swear to goodness, it's garbage. All I'm trying to do is put my ass on this bitch. There we go. I didn't even get the person. I don't even want it. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Oh, yes, I did. That's all I was trying to do. I just wanted to put my ass on these people. Oh, put that ass. Oh, put that ass on. Got him dizzy. Got his ass spinning. 
Yeah. Man, quit touching on me like that, man. Keep your hands off me, sir. Actually, you got nubs, but keep your nubs off me. Rule asses, man. Rule people. So as I was saying, though, we got like two stages left. You know, stage four, we got five and six left. Like I said, man, this game is just flying through. Hey, give me my damn coins. Give me my fucking coins. Yeah, man, this stage is just going, flying through. Uh, I'm definitely, after this game, you know, I'm definitely going to play some Ninja Gaiden Razor's Edge. Because, uh, you know, I I got to play some Ninja Gaiden. I'm, you know, I'm fiending to fight some people, slash them up, you know, cut their arms off, their whole bodies in half. I'm fiending for that shit right now. So, we're going to play some Ninja Gaiden 3 Razor's Edge after the Lollipop Chainsaw. Um, I, I have Ninja Gaiden 2. Look at these fucking cutscenes. See, I'm talking. Whoa! Things just got old Commodore 64 on us. <laughs> uh oh! I think he thinks we're blue ghosts. So yeah, as, as I was saying before the cutscene, um, definitely, I have Ninja Gaiden 2 already on the channel. There's no commentary on the thing, but um, you can, you know, it's still on the channel. When I went back and played Ninja Gaiden 2, I mean, it was a fun time. Not gonna lie, I like, I liked it playing Ninja Gaiden 2 again, experiencing all the bullshit for the first time. Like, like it's the first time, you know. Ninja Gaiden 2 got a lot of bullshit on it. I swear to goodness. So many cheap, cheap ass enemies come around the corner, hitting you and shit. Before you even see the enemy, they come around the corner and slap the shit out of you. I mean, that, that's what they do, you know. That's, that's just what they do. Pretty sure it's, it's designed like that. Pretty sure it's designed like that. I'm pretty sure the uh, creator intentionally designed Ninja Gaiden 2 that way. Just so they can piss you off. Kill him! So yeah, after this, definitely Ninja Gaiden 3 Razor's Edge. And maybe um, after Ninja Gaiden 3 Razor's Edge. Um, I don't know. I don't know what else I'm gonna play after that game. Honestly, I got I got a lot of games, but a, a good chunk of these games I have. Or like JRPGs, man. I got a lot of RPGs. For for the fact I have so many RPGs because uh, back in the day, you know, I, you know, I bought all my games back in the day. There there were some games that my parents bought me, but a nice chunk of games that I have back back in the like the uh, PS2 era, GameCube era, back in those eras, you know. When it, when the 360 and the PS3 era hit, I bought all my games. All the games that you see in the 360 era, PS3 era, I bought all them bitches. You know, I bought, I even bought the 360 console at age 13 by myself. You know, I had $200 with me, and I and I bought my own 360. So, that that, that was the era where I started buying my own, all my own shit. You know? But the PS2, GameCube era, those those are the eras where I I was still buying my own games, but my parents was, you know. Lending me some money to buy some games, but um, as I was saying, a lot of my games are JRPGs, specifically for the fact because I wanted games, I wanted my games to last, so I will buy RPGs, and RPGs are 60 plus hours long, so that's why I'm, mainly my collections are full of just fucking JRPGs and shit. Actually, you know what? Let's buy some MP3s. I got all this damn money. Might as well just buy these shit. Bye. Bye. Alright, that's it. I'm pretty much stock on everything.
But yeah, those, those are my plans, you know. Those are my plans for right now. I might, I might, I'm thinking about playing some. Oh God, they throw Molotov cocktails. Man, look at this lock on, yo. This shit is garbage, boy. I swear to goodness. I swear to goodness, yo. This lock on is just terrible in this game. Um, I'm thinking. Look, look, look what this lock on is doing. Look what it's doing. I'm thinking about playing some basic guy I see. I don't think don't. I don't think many people know about beats and kaitos no that, that's a hidden gem series right there. that was only for the game to you too that was back in the day you know back in the day when the gamecube was thriving they had some good ass uh games too that's that's some excellent jrpgs also and th that game was one of them beats and kaitos man they made two games they made a prequel and they made a uh you know the sequel to the prequel you know actually they did before the prequel they made uh actually the prequel was made after the first game prehistoric events and shit it, i like the game man the game is great excellent well not for the first one the first one kind of the first one um basically kaito's origins you know that voice acting is kind of kind of iffy you know it, it feels like they're talking through a soup can you know that's how that's just how like Hollow their voices are. They're not like the voices aren't hollow. It's just, it's just the way it it, it sounds. It sounds like they're speaking through a, a damn soup can. It legit sounds like that. It sounds like somebody recorded their lines inside like a, a hallway or something. It's just hollow sounding, you know. But I still like the game though. But Bitty Kato's origins, like everything improved in that game. Combat, voice acting. The, the battle mechanics, everything is just improving Origins, man. Origins is legitimately the game I go back to and play. But, uh, BT Kaito's Internal, Eternal Wings and Lost Ocean, soundtrack better in that game. Hands down. Soundtrack is way better. Joseph James, bitch! That Rick James, that Rick James, I say efference, uh, reference. That Rick James reference. You know, I should be, um, I should be talking about the game, but, so I'm talking about other games. So basically this level, oh my god, you fucking bastard. So as I was saying, um, this level is mainly just about mini games, as you can see. Uh, the boss's level is basically a game freak. We just, pr just pretty much just going back and... Oh, what the hell? Oh, never mind. Uh, the boss's level pretty much is a game freak, as I said before. Um, he likes his games. Shit. We just played Pac-Man, like, not a few minutes ago. And now we're playing, um... You, see, you know what notice it you know what it reminds me of? This reminds me of that um that Zack and Cody game. Off the Disney Channel. Those, those Disney Channel games? This reminds me of. Where they gotta put up the posters and shit. I think y'all too young for that shit now. I don't think I gotta remember Zack and Cody. Game wise. Cause I'm pretty sure it's sweet life and Zack. Not sweet life, um when it was on that cruise ship, I can't remember the name of that damn thing. I, well, I don't remember when that came out. I mean, I stopped watching Zack and Cody when the uh, when he started doing the cruise ship. You know, it wasn't back in the hotel anymore. Wow! Wow! Yes. 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 
I don't think this level is, is like really that long. Oh, maybe it's, I think it is. Uh, I'll change that. I think it is pretty long. Put that ass on him. Oh, oh, whoa. Okay, you know what? There's no. Actually, you know what? Just go in this doorway. And it still hit me when I went in the doorway. What the hell? Alright, that's it. We oh shit. Okay, now we made it to the end after this. This Pac-Man looking guy. I don't know if you can hear the soundtrack in the background, but it's, it's pretty groovy, you know. Hold on, before we move, before you move forward, let's let's analyze, let's 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 analyze, you know, the costume again. Look at that shit. Look at that leather. You got a leather boots, pink leather boots on. Look at that. God, I ain't got a little eye showing. You know what I'm saying? You got a little belly boy. You got the titties halfway out. God, damn, baby. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Man, look at this. What is this pole weaving for, yo? I, I, I can never get these arms to get the edges over here. This shit's garbage. Get off the fucking pole, lady. This is, it's terrible. That's what it is. Exactly what it is. It's, it's terrible. Oh, I, I think I should mention I'm, I am a horror mode. I think people already know that shit, yo. I, I might have mentioned that shit, like, in part of one or something. I, I, don't, I, I, can't, I can't remember that far, you know? Guy, man, I just got hit by a damn guitar, man. It's ridiculous. I hate how, I hate how the enemies is just gonna hit you in, in that slow mo like that. It's pretty, it's pretty cheap. Don't hit me with that guitar. I'm not even getting anything. Can you please stab Elvis Presley? You're supposed to throw dollar bills, dude, not bombs. Move out on your face. Boogie, woogie. Uh, I think I should heal before I die, huh? I don't know. I don't know if I should be risking this. I want the guy with the guitar, damn it. Look at this nonsense, man. Moon walk on your face. There we go. Slice him, slice him up. This lady, man. She, she always maybe missing her. Be missing shots. Even though the enemy be like right in front of her. What is that lady doing in the background? What is she doing? Why are they groping this? What they? What are they doing back then? What, what are y'all doing? They just like playing with the titties back there, man. What the fuck are they doing? How how do I go in first person? What are they doing back there? Wait, why are they feeling this up like that? Lady, this is a goddamn club, not the damn bathroom. This is not the bathroom. Go to the bathroom if you want to play with yourself. Crazy ass bitches. Even man, even when these zombies and bitches freaky. Freaky asses. Look at this lock on. Is the lock on? I'm always bitching about the lock on. I swear to goodness, but it's really trash, man. I'm trying to lock on to the guy in front of me, but I think the lock on is trying to just 
lock on to the farthest enemy, I swear to goodness. They need to fix this lock on because it's garbage. Dude, just kick me. Dude just did the damn spinner Rooney. Look, that's a, look what the lock on. Yo, I'm in front of the guy, the blue guy, and they're not. No, they're still unlocking me. Um, I'm in front of the blue guy, and it, and the lock on just lock on to the farthest enemy. And quit spinner Rooney, man. Shit. Come on, camera. Thank you. I just want the guy in the blue. Look at this guy. They gave him a, they gave me the work. That's what they're giving me right now. There we go. I'm not a fan of this level. To be honest, I'm not. Um, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not feeling all these little mini games and stuff. You know, it, it's it's unique. The first time go around, but mainly you just want to get through this shit. You know. Oh man, I hate this old ass bitch, bro. I swear I hate this. <sighs> look, and look what they're locking one to. I want the old lady with the damn cart, shopping cart. Damn it! Oh, I knew he's gonna hit me. You old bitch. Ah, right, take that ass on you. They need throwing Molotov cocktails. So he says, "Huh? What the hell is that? Some sneakers?" What is that? Uh, did I? That's it? I mean, I guess it was kind of useful, I guess. I mean, I guess it was kind of useful. You come with that, that damn guitar. You can't cancel out that shit either. You gotta wait till the end of mission finish before you can even cancel out that shit. Oh my god. Yo, who threw that fucking cocktail at me? Who's somebody camping back here, yo? Who's who threw who threw that shit? You throwing that crap, man. Can you stop, sir? Bada bing, bada bing, bada bun. That is finished. Bop and lock. Bop and lock. Wesley. Oh my god, you're coming with the damn spin or Rooney. Yo, those damn, yo, that spinner Rooney, that shit hurts, dog. I swear to goodness. That shit be shaving with my damn health bar. And I can't see shit, of course. But the camera's being shitty. Can't see though. There we go. Oh, boom! Did you destroy it? Oh. Uh. 
Bob and lock. I think it's supposed to have a lollipop somewhere. There we go. What? What is something? Something is clipping through this bitch. What is? Something is like clipping. You didn't see that shit? Something is clipping on her waist. Alright, that would be the perfect spot to end this. On the next part, we're going to jump in inside that arcade machine and see what's up with it.